All right, in, in this video, we're going to take a look at an example where we want to do a validation or checks on uh, form fields, but without hitting the submit button. In other words, we want to uh, we want to take a look at when a user enters uh, a number here for the Q2 gate, we're going to do a couple checks. Number one, we want to make first make sure there are no characters in it, that it's numeric. Number two, uh, the number has to be higher than Q, the, this number illustrated in Q1, and it must be lower than what's inside of Q4. Um, and, and similarly, uh, we want to do all this as soon as the user puts the number in, uh, but not when they, they click submit and get further down the path of this particular calculation app. Um, so to do this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually leverage uh, dynamic actions on um, uh, and in JavaScript to make this happen. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you will see me reference a few JavaScript functions. Uh, please note that these functions like 2CN, um, where we just strip out, you know, the currency uh, and uh, or turn it back to a currency, um, or uh, check to see if something has letters inside of it. Um, all of these functions are written at the page level and uh, and just embedded uh, in the HTML header. All right, so to get started, we're going to go down to our variable p2 gate illustrated on the form right here. Uh, we're going to create a new dynamic action. Let me just go ahead and na name this. All right, now with it named, one of the things that I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to set this to fire uh, when, the, when we lose focus. In other words, when uh, the person clicks out or moves the focus from that particular field, uh, that particular input field, it'll actually run this validation, uh, meaning that it'll, it'll actually run quite often. Um, but, uh, uh, and I'm doing that instead of on change, as, as you'll see later for some reasons. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do execute the Java, JavaScript code, uh, open this up. I'm going to paste in some JavaScript code. Um, so first, I'm just going to output, you know, that way hey, we're we're checking the validations. I'm going to pull in uh, the variable. This is how you can pull in the very the current state of of the P2 gate uh, as inputted by the the user. I'm going to check to see, um, you know, uh, first check I'm going to do is to see if it has any letters. So these would be like letters outside of new numerics. And if so, I'm going to throw an alert message specific to that. Next. We'll see uh, if it is negative. So we want to make sure this number is a positive number. Uh, must be positive. Um, and we, this number, um, in this particular case, uh, we need to make sure Q1 gate is, is it's greater than the Q1 gate. So in other words, it has to be greater than 93 million uh, and change there. Similarly, uh, it must be less than um, the, the total number as illustrated in Q4. So it must be less than this number. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. Click Save. And we'll run back to our app. Refresh the page. All right, and now we're at our gate. So I'm going to go ahead and lose focus with no number. And it's going to tell me, hey, you've, you've got to have a number there. It must be greater than, than this number. So let's go ahead and let's give it the valid state. So let's grab a number that's in between. If I do this, it will, it'll, of course, be OK. Let me add a, a character in there. So it's just picking up the non-numeric characters. Let's make it um, larger. All right, so you get to see the idea. And all of this is firing before submit, so it's instant feedback uh, to your user in the UI. Um, the other thing to note, and this is just kind of a development preference, that you know, in the event of an alert, I actually reset the variable back to essentially null. Um, so the user has to physically type something else in. Uh, um, and this is why I used uh, the lose focus option here, as opposed to the change, because if you use the change option, you kind of create an infinite loop. Um, but if you don't, if you don't set that variable or you take a different approach, um, you could definitely choose one of the other events when it fires.